Stephen. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, you're gonna notice things are a little bit different. Trevor would like to say, first and foremost, I've got a lot of space to wave my arms around, but this is the new UAV Futures set, or the new UAV Futures studio. We've got the drone wall up. There's still a few things I wanna work on. I'm gonna be working on my acoustics, all that sort of stuff, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on sort of what the channel, what it's gonna be like in the future on UAV Futures, and just like a heads up on what's been going on and why there's been no content and all that sort of stuff. So, for some of you guys out there who might have seen my last video before the Q&A, what I had to do, UAV Futures was getting too big where I was currently filming it, you know, in the lounge room of this tiny little house, so, we had to get a new house, and that was, I guess, possible because of you guys and because of your support, and now we've got this place. So we're gonna be doing a heap more content here, I'm gonna be doing a heap more work, I'm gonna be working on my audio, all that sort of stuff, trying to reduce that echo, all those sort of things to improve the quality of the videos for you. And I guess one, a real big bonus about this place, it's right down the end of the house where the rest of the family, they're quite a way up, I can shut the hallway door, I can make as much noise as I like, because in the old place, I had to be really careful, I guess, with timing and my daughter going to sleep, all that sort of stuff, maybe the wife sleeping or people in the kitchen, it was really difficult, but right here, we can make as much noise as we want. Now, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the desk. I'm going to be talking about that in a little bit because I'm going to be doing a massive giveaway, but that's sort of for my patrons and their understanding. So that'll be towards the end of this video. But essentially, there's some stuff I want to talk about on how I'm going to run the channel in the future. Now, a little while ago, we made the switch to do one part review. So say we're reviewing this bad boy right here. And this is going to be coming up. This is one of the new little diatone sort of uh, things, the M3 or the GT3. I'll forget its proper name. I'll link it down below. But in the past, we used to do part one, wait a while, then do part two, and then I sort of didn't really like that wait between, so I said, right, we're just gonna do part one, I guess, or whole part reviews. So we do the bench review, the bench breakdown, we'll take it out, fly it around, all that sort of stuff in one review, and some of them were getting up to like half an hour, and I really listen, I really care about the audience, I care about you guys and what you think about the videos. I wanna make content you enjoy watching, I wanna make it the best content we can. And something I noticed is a lot of people were saying, Stuart, this is too long, and when I tried to cut to bench reviews, they are like, please, that's my favorite part. And other people would be like, oh, I don't want that bench stuff, can you please just show me the flying around part? So, what we're gonna do, I am gonna be splitting my videos back up, but I think the biggest problem I used to have was, I didn't like the wait between. So between the part one and part two, you guys, you know, you wanna see that content right then and there. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna do my part one, and part two, if the video is ever split, it's gonna go up on the same day. So for those people, I think this is the best for both worlds. Those people who wanna watch a longer bench review, straight away, you've got access to part one, and then those people who wanna continue and watch the whole thing, you can watch part two straight after that, or if you just wanna jump and see part two, we're out in the field, flying around, having some fun, that's gonna be uploaded on the same day. So essentially, you're still getting the same amount of content, maybe twice as many videos or something like that, but that's gonna let you guys choose what sort of videos you wanna watch, because I can understand, not not everybody has 40 minutes to watch, like when I think of that rooster review, that was like a 40 minute review and not everybody wants to watch a review that that is that is that long. So that little ramble out of the way, what we're gonna be doing from now on, the part one and part two, the videos will be split up, but they're gonna be uploaded on the same day. So you can watch them both then and there, I guess to make your minds up. If you wanna get something, you don't have to do that big wait that we had to do in the past. Some other news and it was absolutely killing me in the old house and it's still affecting me here, but by the time you see this video, hopefully Hopefully it's changed. I wanted to jump on Discord and chat to you guys so much. There should be a link down below, but uh, that was really difficult in the old house as well because I couldn't talk too loud. I'd wake people up, all that sort of stuff. Right now, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tour, I guess, in a later video, but right now we've got another sort of editing room. I can be in there, I can make as much noise as I like, and I can talk to you guys on Discord finally. So I'm super pumped to jump in there. Really, I guess, chatting to you guys, so I can't wait to do that as well. And a big one and why it's been killing me right here is because if you know anything about Australian internet, it is terrible, and right here, I have no access to internet. So uh, at the moment, by the time you watch this, it should change on Monday, because that's when they're coming to connect it up, all that sort of stuff. So if this isn't up on Monday, well, something's gone wrong with the internet. But essentially, I'm gonna be getting some good internet here, so uh, I can't wait to get that. Now, I've been offline, I guess, for like 10 days or something like that, so if you've sent me an email in the last 10 days, and you're thinking, gee, Stuart, you never respond, you're such a jerk, all that sort of jazz. Well, I just wanna say, you know, I'm sorry I haven't got your email, but I just haven't had the internet, and uh, I can't use my phone because, look, it just doesn't work that well here. In Australia, that's the internet in Australia is absolutely terrible, so uh, good luck trying to do that off your phone, especially where I'm living, 
but I'm going to be able to answer all your emails, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to be able to communicate and just, I guess, dive right back in and hanging out with you guys. I can't wait. So if you sent me an email and I haven't responded, I'm not being a jerk. It was just, I didn't have the internet and I haven't seen them. Now, moving on to some other news. What we've got here, I guess this one's sort of for my Patreon supporters. And uh, I want to give a big extra special thank you to you guys. You know, moving, moving house, I did come across quite a lot of stuff. I was like, that's going to be great to give away. There's a lot of things here, but I want to say thank you to them because Without their belief, without their support of this channel, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this for a career. I wouldn't be making videos for you guys. And I know you guys absolutely love it, but it means so much to me to be able to share this message of FPV. You know, it totally changed my life. And just to hopefully give that to other people and to know that my Patreons believe in that message as well is, is something really, really special. So if you're a Patreon supporter or maybe if you want to become a Patreon supporter in the future, I'll put the link down below anyway or up here or something like that. But I've got something pretty special because I, turns out, I have quite a few drones and quite a few things. So I thought to put together some packs. I'm going to be doing some more giveaways and stuff, but this is the first one of many. But in this one, what we have, I guess, uh, if you're not a Patreon supporter, you might be finding this quite a bit boring. But what I want to be giving away very soon is, I don't know which side to start on, we've got a charger, I should probably just rattle this off, some charger, a couple of different radios, two Esheen i6s, uh, we've got one of the jumper multi-protocol radios, I've got a, what's this one, the Turnergy Evolution right there, that is a fantastic radio, I really, really like that. We've got a couple of different goggles, so we've got just the cheap pair, the Fury B VR1s, I've got like an Esheen, a box goggle. It's not the 800, that's uh, the version before that. We've got some old Kylan goggles, because I thought, gee, these used to be my spectator goggles, but I've since improved them, so I'm sure somebody out there can get some use out of them. Uh, what we've got, and then I guess a couple of drones to give away as well. We've got a Fury B X215. Now this model's a little bit different because I think that had like some custom internals and that sort of stuff inside when I was doing some testing. So some things might be different, but it still does fly. It works really well right here. I can't actually even remember the name of this one. I didn't want to put this one on the wall because uh, look, I don't have receivers. It's missing a camera and it's not really just a working drone. So this one, that's gonna be going out to somebody as well. But look, hopefully someone can get some use out of it. What we do have, this one was pretty special to me right here. This is my GT2. Now I haven't flown this for quite a while, but uh, this was the Diatone GT2. And for me, this was the quad. Look, all, a lot of these things are all used, but hopefully, you know, it's just to give back to you guys. You don't have to take them if you don't want them. You can send me an email, but I wanted to give back to you guys. But this one right here, this GT2, this is sort of the one when I realized I was starting to go quick. I was thinking, gee, my video is looking very, very fast. So this GT2 right here has seen an awful lot of packs. We've got a run cam camera in the front and I really, really love this drone. You know, this one for me was probably the drone that pushed my limits last year and uh, just improve my piloting skills. You can see I've got some LEDs, all that sort of stuff on the back. So if you're the winner of the GT2, congratulations, because look, that was a really special personal drone for me, but hopefully somebody out there is gonna get a new home and they're gonna enjoy it as well. Uh, what we've also got, you'll notice, Oh, one of these diatone things. I've got a bunch of them, actually. I'm going to be giving some of them away. I've got to wait and review this one, but stay tuned for that. Uh, but that'll be going out to one of my patrons. And also, uh, I thought, well, I've got a Phantom, you know, if I ever need to do some filming and that sort of stuff. But a while ago, I did review this bad boy right here. This was the Yami Me sort of big filming drone, all that sort of stuff. And I've got to say, it did its job pretty well. So uh, that's going to be going in the draw as well. Now, that's not really an FPV racing drone, but maybe somebody, one of my Patreon supporters, rather than gathering dust here, it can go out to you guys and you guys can have some fun with it, get it up in the air and have a great time. Oh, and another thing too, we've got this pair of goggles right here. This is the Esheen EV100s. And originally, these did have a winner, like I did the video about six months ago. Something like that. You can go and put that a link down below. But... These goggles right here, when I picked the winner, you know, I sent them their email, their message, instructions on how to contact me, all that sort of stuff. There was a lot of comments in that video, but I feel like that user just never got back to me. I tried to contact them again, and we've just had no luck trying to give these things away to the winner. So a new condition, I'm going to make it. You've got about one month if you're in those YouTube competitions to sort of get to get in touch with me, because I feel like after that, Sometimes the tech can come become a little bit irrelevant and 
I just want to get these people out there who want to use it. So these are going to be going out to my Patreon supporters as well because look, I feel like six months is too long to wait for somebody to contact me to say, yes, I'll claim that prize. And then of course, for everybody else, uh, what we've got, those $5 supporters or above, we just got a new shipment of the UAV Futures Team Pilot Velcro Straps. But yeah, I guess that's like a bit of a ramble. I wanted to do something special for you Patreon supporters out there, give back to you guys. I've got a lot of stuff after moving and I want to give it to some new homes and what better people than the people who are out there putting their hard-earned, I guess, belief and money into something that I believe in and that they believe in as well. Anyway, that's enough rambling here in the studio. Drop your comments down below. What do you think about the drone wall? I'm gonna be changing some things, some different lighting. I'm still working on some little things. I've got a little cactus over here. I think a Mr. Steel radio I've got to do a review on. I'm still sort of setting up the bench, but I wanted to do this video for you guys and just sort of say thanks. I'm in the new house and uh, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of content coming out in the future. Anyway. Happy flying. This feels so weird as well, like standing up and talking to you guys rather than sitting down in that little chair. So uh, that's gonna take some getting used to. Anyway.